Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today we're looking at animation number nine which was excited and I am actually quite excited about this one because it went pretty well. I'm quite happy with how these things are going. <laughs> yeah! Oh man, this is cool! So there it was with all its sound. I've, I'm pleased, I'm pleased. This is working out for me and I feel like I'm getting better finally. I suppose actually I say I'm getting better finally, but I have been getting better all the way throughout, but it really is starting to click. Uh, the thing I was really working on a bit more today was the follow through, and I'm going to do a tutorial on that. Um, it's one of the 12 principles animation of animation, so um, I'm assuming you probably uh, read that, which is in the book, uh, which is the Animator's Survival Guide, uh, which is well worth uh, taking a look at. Uh, links in the description. Uh, but one of the 12 principles is follow through and it's really essential for non-robotic movement. Uh, so that's what I was working on today and it worked nicely. I didn't have any issues. <laughs> I found the IK controllers, thank you to Stephen I think it was, who contacted me saying the IK, the IK controllers are here. It's weird, I couldn't seem to find them but I found them now, so uh, that's, that's done. <laughs> so thank you for that. Uh, it's nice uh, to have your support. I'm really appreciating all the support I'm getting. It is wonderful and it's making a big difference to my animation uh, and the quality of my, anima my animation. Uh, a friend of mine, Seller, uh, was uh, asking me the other day, what are my plans for the future? And I said, maybe make a short film and uh, this animation uh, might be part of it, as in. Uh, my animation skills will be a big part of it, I'm assuming, if I ever do get round to making a short film. But anyway, uh, on to the animation. Uh, so obviously I'm going to go through your animations a bit later on and uh, show you those and uh, show you the progress and just uh, showing you the time lapse of this here. Uh, so it was, uh, it was interesting this one because I was searching around for reference images of Excited on YouTube and it took me a little while to find the sound file. Um, I just sort of grabbed one off freesounds.org. I need to put that uh, link in the description uh, because when you type in freesounds.org into uh, Google or into your browser or what, whatever you call it, uh, the search bar, um, it comes up with a non, the, not the site. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. But freesounds.org is uh, the site and I'll try and put a link in the description. And I just grabbed someone uh, sounding excited, a male voice uh, sounding uh, excited, and I cut it up a little bit and got the bits that I liked. Um, so uh, I didn't really have any reference images and uh, that was a little bit scary. Uh, but I do want to start working without too much reference um, in the sense that it, it is, it, it's very important to use references and I, I don't want to say don't use references by any means um, but um, I'm kind of using myself as a reference thinking about how I would move and thinking oh, it's cool and all this sort of stuff um, so I'm looking at myself feeling where I am um, as a reference um, so Obviously I'm doing that, uh, and so obviously I'm using a reference in a sense. Um, but I'm trying not to do too much using a reference because I want to exaggerate form, and I don't just want to copy. Uh, and that's the thing you should do, I feel, as an artist. Uh, you should start off by copying people, other art, uh, things you see, and then uh, when you get skilled, that's when you go into the sort of cartoon and exaggeration and style. Uh, because you can kind of tell, I think anyway, uh, people that jump to the style uh, part and they haven't really got any grasp of the basics uh, and I think that comes across in people's art but those who've got a really good grasp of the basics and then go stylized that that's when it looks amazing uh, so um, I think um, that's it's important to use references and use and copy it as, uh, to start off with and then start moving away from your references you're still using them they're still in your head and you've still got those references available uh, as well but that's when you can know how you can push past that for the exaggeration and that's what I wanted to do here I wanted to follow through with the arms and the flow, uh, but I also wanted to exaggerate the movement a bit. So he jumps quite high, legs back in the air, um, arching the um, torso and things, uh, and it, it seemed to work. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite pleased, I'm, I'm just happy with how I'm getting on. You know, you have days like this, and tomorrow it probably won't be like this. <laughs> so don't panic when you feel like you're going backwards. You, you never really go backwards with this, stu with this stuff, I don't think. You're always, um, moving on, moving forward and learning. Uh, that's the great thing about learning. It's not like physical performance because that can kind of dwindle sometimes. Uh, but uh, when you're learning, you, 
you sort of quickly pick it up again if you've taken a break and uh, you move on, on, you're moving on all the time, you're developing all the time. That's wonderful. I do love learning. <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, the first thing I did was this sort of blocking out stage and I was a bit rough with this and because I didn't have a reference, I didn't really know what the timings were going to be. So I just got some key poses that I thought were about right and then uh, went back through and started blocking out some more. Uh, so going in between those key poses um, and it, it all just ended up sort of merging into one. And I suppose that does happen a little bit um, when I, because I feel like I'm a competent sculptor now. Um, so I can sort of refer to that in terms of being good at it to a degree. Um, so with this, I'm finding that I know when I can uh, go past the blocking out and into a bit more detail in places. Um, I was careful not to do that too much, but occasionally you can, you can think, well, I'll just detail this bit out because that's going to help me to see the timing a bit more and stuff like that. So knowing when to get the timing or when to work on the timing and squish things down or extend them as you need, and then uh, knowing when you can start putting the detail in. And sometimes you can't do the time, the, the, the timing properly without doing some sort of uh, detail in there to know whether the timing's working. Uh, so it's, it's one of those chicken and egg situations. Uh, <laughs> so um, knowing uh, when to go detailed is a really important aspect I find with the sculpting and I'm finding it an important aspect here as well. Um, I ended up having a bit more time than I thought to a degree because it was going so well so I thought I'd change this initial pose and so he leant backwards and uh, pushed his leg out and uh, it's nice to be able to experiment and go away from a bit well go away from the reference in terms of because I haven't got a reference so I can just be fluid experiment and that's really good fun uh, and I suppose I've been a bit stuck in the previous ones because I'm always looking very closely at my reference, trying to go away from it a little bit and exaggerating things, but being a bit too scared to uh, because I know it's not going to look great. Uh, but now um, it's that sort of stepping out into the, the world of creativity uh, and that's a bit fearful in a sense. Uh, it's a bit scary uh, because is it going to work? Is it all going to fail? Uh, is your big question that you're always asking yourself. But um, I, I want to encourage you to do that and uh, not panic, uh, learn from it and maybe it's not time for you and you need to go back to the references and uh, work on those or uh, maybe it will be a new avenue into creativity and you can uh, suddenly explore new creative fields. <laughs> Hopefully I'm making sense with all this. Um, I think it really is important. I, don't, I know not many people watch my videos but uh, I suppose part of these videos is me um, looking back at what I've done and I think uh, assessing what I've done is uh, really important. Uh, so I would recommend you do that. Take a look back at your work, uh, maybe your first day's animation and look how far you've come for one, which uh, will will be progress definitely. But also think um, how could you have done that first one better? Uh, and that reflection in teaching, we always talk about this reflection, absolutely vital. Uh, so there it is. Uh, I'm quite pleased with this uh, because not going from reference, uh, it turned out all right. I mean, it's not this far from being perfect, I know that, um, but it's definitely getting there. So I'm happy about that. Here's some of your work. Uh, really nice stuff once again. Uh, make sure um, you get a bit more light in there. Uh, that's a really common mistake that people make is not putting enough light in and it's quite a dark render. So watch out for that. <laughs> uh, some great work though. Uh, I really like this one, uh, the tumbling. Uh, it's nice and uh, fluid motion and it just work nicely. Uh, so well done. Uh, Lord Diego, I think it is. And 3D whatever. <laughs> he, he took the mic out of me for pronouncing his name wrong and I've just done it again. <laughs> so sorry about that. Nice work. Always great work from Kevin. Uh, does really well. I feel like he's improving as well. Uh, it looked really fluid, his um, animations now. Uh, uh, not that they weren't to start off with, but they just seem to have a bit more to them. So excellent stuff. Uh, some really nice work coming out. Make sure you put your name on it uh, on the video uh, because it's really difficult for me to uh, capture it and remember your name. Uh, so I keep forgetting who this person is, for example, who does some really nice animation. So sorry about that. Uh, there we go, Darren Bruno, there we go. Uh, there's a few um, previous ones in here, it's like Bounce uh, in this case, just because uh, they're really great uh, and I want to try and get people who are sort of joining late involved but generally speaking I'm going to stick to the previous one 
if that makes sense. Uh, so um, I'm a sort of day behind showing your work, but a day in front doing the work. Hopefully that makes sense anyway. Uh, so yeah, a nice uh, somersault there. And that, yeah, this person just joined us, uh, Quang, I think, um, Quang Vo, <laughs> assuming that's how you pronounce it. Uh, but I like that one, that's a good one. I do like the, the roll as well. A somersault is actually in the air. That's a, a, like a forward roll is on the floor. A somersault is in the air. They used to do gymnastics. And so why I am sort of uh, put somersault in, I just uh, like the movement. I suppose that maybe that's why I like animation as well, I like the movement and things, I like dance as well, not that I'm very good at dance. Uh, as, and uh, Andre uh, Kozrienko again doing some lovely work. Uh, so some fantastic stuff as always, well done to you all. Uh, here's my work again, but you don't need to see that again. Uh, I think that's probably enough for me. Any reminders? Just make sure you put your name on your work. That would be helpful when I'm reading people's work out. Uh, that'd be fantastic. Okay, uh, so uh, happy animating. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.